Mortal and Goddess, Poetry and Romance, a Do Poetry independently published audiobook. This is a book about love, a love still not meant to be, a poet searching for love and a harpist that will come to love him. Poem, When Love Does Not Come and My Heart Withers Away. I wait patiently for you, and yet you will not come. What will I do? How will I find you, dearest love? My heart has an open wound, one that cannot heal with time. It feels hollow, like I'm bleeding away inside, an incomplete puzzle, missing the hole in my heart. I write these crestfallen verses, waiting patiently for your blissful love, so when love does not come and my heart withers away, I'll turn these feelings into words and hope they will become the star that sways you my way. Chapter 1. The Mortal, as narrated by the poet. More than a man or a dreamer, I'm a poet. Life happens in rhymes. It transforms itself through words and is forever formless. No limitations, prisons, or shackles. I'm a poet, and the world is nothing more than an amusement park, a myriad of great attractions to experience. Colors to others are only colors. Life without colors is empty, lackluster, and joyless. Music to others is only music. Life without music is boring, lacking passion or creativity. Poetry to others is only poetry. Life without it has no colors nor music. I cannot live in a world where words will not form rhymes and verses, alliterations and metaphors. I'm a poet. Everything inspires me differently. The sky lifts me, makes me long for the majestic wings of a bird to fly. Mountains show me how to be strong and capable of withstanding anything, facing the world with my head high. Rivers change me, like the current of life that flows into the future with its crystalline waters symbolizing the purity of our being. Animals teach me freedom, to live every moment as if life stalked us, a relentless predator carrying the scythe of death. The stars remind me to dream, to pledge my aspirations and truths, my wishes and dreams to the universe and fate. People teach me to love, not only the love between man and woman, but of parents, family, friendship, pity, and compassion. I live by my words as a hunter lives by his tools and craftsman by his hands. Words are my gift and curse. My days pass like an hourglass, every second a grain of sand, and I'm lost. I speak of love, but the love between two passionate souls I never knew. I've never felt my heart beat as if leaping from the chest, and my whole body felt her as if it had no strength. A poet that doesn't know love. Inspiration moves my heart, is the air I breathe, the water that nourishes my being. I didn't believe in love at first sight, and always thought love grew with time, as we know and let ourselves be known to others like a seed that needs nutrients to grow. What a fool! Love cannot be measured, cannot be explained, makes little sense, is not mundane, and cannot be denied. Love is divine, and I leave for the gods to understand it. I am but a man, my mission simply to love and be loved in return. What do we live for? The poet lived for love, for the love that would inspire his poetry. Love cannot be denied. Love is divine. Poem, My Lord. See, O Lord of all things, I am but a lost man, confused, trapped by my own feelings. See, O Lord of time, I desire nothing but the simple truth. I am both realist and dreamer, genuine and false, hopeful and desperate. See, my Lord, in life, I do not choose the present, nor live by the past. In my hands, I only wish for the future, hope and love.